In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal Aweber opt-in form, kind of like the one that you see right here inside of this WordPress page. Now, Aweber has hundreds of pre-made uh, opt-in form templates that you can choose from, and they all look really great, but none of them let you create a horizontal opt-in where the name appears in line with the email box and the sign-up form like this. So I'm going to show you how to edit the CSS code so that you can create a horizontal Aweber opt-in. Now the first thing we need to do is log into our Aweber account and click on the Web Forms tab at the top of the page. Once you're on the Web Forms uh, tab, you're going to click on the green button that says Create a New Web Form and we're going to go ahead and choose one of the pre-made templates to use as a starting point. So what I'm going to do is click on the popular tab and then find the template called mail icon. So I'm going to click on that template to load that template and then I'm going to select one of these uh, pre preset color schemes. So if I want my sign up button to be blue I'm going to click the cobalt option so that my sign up button is blue and then click on the load template button to actually load that template into the Aweber editor. Now once the template is loaded the very first thing I need to do is modify the width of the opt-in form to be exactly what I want it to be. So I'm putting this opt-in form on a WordPress page and I want the opt-in form to be 600 pixels wide. So I'm going to type the number 600 for the width to go ahead and set the width at 600 pixels. Then I'm actually going to click in the header field and give this uh, form a header. This would be your ethical bribe, whatever it is that you're giving away for free. Join my newsletter, sign up for my free report. Um, download my free video, whatever it is, you're going to type in the headline here and go ahead and, and format the headline however you want it to look and then click on the save button. Now I'm also going to style the background color of that header area to be um, to match the look and feel of my website. So I happen to know the hexadecimal value of the color that I want. So I'm going to type it in this box and click OK. Um, I'm also going to um, change the border color. So the next field that I'm going to select from the drop down is the body. And here I can actually change the border color of my form. So in this case I want a two pixel border and I want the border color to actually match the headline color that I chose. So I'm going to click on OK and then we're going to change the actual background color of our opt-in. So again I'm going to click on the color icon and either type in or copy and paste the color that we want and then click on OK. Now you'll notice that the, the text fields currently are showing up on top of the input field. So in order to change that I'm going to click on labels um, and we can set the position of our labels. So I'm going to select this third option and for the color, I'm going to change that color to match the background color of my header. So we're going to click on OK and make those bold. Um, so now my web form is starting to look like I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and take out this privacy field uh, in the email marketing by Aweber field. So I'm going to hover my mouse over that area of the form and click the little red X to completely get rid of those fields. So once my form is styled the way that I want, I'm going to come down here to save web form and then go ahead and proceed to step two. Now on step two is where you get to give the form a name. So I'm going to give this form a name called horizontal opt-in. Um, you can specify the thank you URL which is where you want to send visitors after they opt-in. If you have a custom URL you can put that in here. Um, and then I'm going to click Save Web Form and go to step three. Now once I've saved my web form, I'm going to click I will install my form and I'm going to copy the JavaScript snippet that Aweber gives me and this is what we're actually going to paste into our WordPress page. So I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard and I'm actually going to find the page 
where I want the opt-in form to appear. Um, although you could also paste this into a post or you could put it into a text widget in one of your sidebar areas. Once you've added the JavaScript code to the page, you're almost done. The last step is to actually modify the style sheet of your WordPress theme so that the field labels will appear horizontally rather than vertically. Um, so I'm going to click Appearance and then Editor, and I'm actually going to paste some H or CSS code rather into my style sheet. So uh, uh, the CSS code that I want to paste um, is below this video um, or in the About area of the video, so you can copy and paste that CSS code into your style sheet. What you want to do is make sure that you're editing the style.css file for the WordPress theme that you're using. And you're going to paste in that code, but there's one small change that you do need to make. Um, and you need to actually grab the form ID of your actual Aweber form. So to find the form ID, what you're going to do is go back into Aweber and load the form that you're uh, that you've created and look in the address bar of your browser and you'll see a bunch of numbers at the end of the URL right after the hashtag you're gonna copy that number come back into WordPress and you're gonna change each one of these four uh, uh, settings where you see the form number all four of these should match this basically identifies that form on your WordPress site then we're going to come down here and click on update file and once we've added that CSS code um, if I go back to my website and load the page that I've embedded the opt-in form on you'll see that the field labels actually appear horizontally rather than stacked on top of one another so that's how you can create a horizontal opt-in form um, in Aweber just by modifying a little bit of CSS code